Welcome on back, everyone. It is now time to check in with Paige Kay's Neil. It Barnes. better be. Neil, where are we going? Mineola. Okay. Woo. Pecans. Yes. Pecans. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes, well, you know, hey, hey let's go over here. Thank you always. We'll go to the big wall. Here you go. So. The big wall. Mineola, the town first came to existence when railroads, what did you say? Built <laughs> <laughs> in the eastern part of the state. Ah, 1873, the Texas and Pacific International Great Northern Race to see which would get the Mineola the first. The IGN reached and finished 15 minutes early. That's a lot. That's a big lead time there. City government there in Bay in 1873. Post office opened 1875, incorporated the town 1877, but a fire destroyed everything in the 1880s. I can't believe that it's such a pretty town. The town's oldest paper, the Mineola Monitor, was found in 1876. By 1890, the town had seven churches, several schools, including a black free school hotels and a population of 2,000 beautiful people and a couple of old soreheads back in 1895. Mineola became the site of the Wood County Fair, which is a fair thing to go and see. It's great. Mineola is still has a church population there of about 4,600 people. Beautiful people, and that is why we salute them today. Mineola, a town near and dear to my heart. If you want your small town to be featured right here on the big news, there you go. Small on KTK.com. Let us hear from you and we'll be more than happy to um, brag a little bit about where you live. Of course. And you know, they also have an excellent burger joint downtown they do. in Mineola. It's Ooh. been written up in Texas Monthly. Go. It and is. then buy yourself some pecans. Afterwards. Yes. It is plum larapin. Yeah. Yes. All right. Neil, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. All right.